electricity is an invisible force. Thus, electrical leakage is very dangerous. Because there is a possibility of many accidents due to electrical leakage. Sometimes we may go to places where there is power leakage without our knowledge. If we get electrocuted in such cases, it can even be dangerous for our lives. To avoid this, we use RCCB on the distribution board. If we use RCCB in our distribution board, RCCB has the ability to stop the power immediately in the case of power leakage. So today's video is about RCCB. Hello friends. Welcome to Free Engineering Knowledge. In today's video, what is RCCB? How to read the RCCB nameplate? Internal parts of the RCCB and how it works. Let's see about. First, let's see what RCCB is. An RCCB is an electrical wiring device. When an electrical leakage is detected, its function is to disconnect the circuit. It also provides protection against electric shock or electrocution due to direct contact. How to read the RCCB nameplate? Brand name and model number. All reputed manufacturer has a particular code of each device type. It will be very easy to communicate with seller or manufacturer, if you quote the model number in case of any service complaint. Current rate. This indicates the amount of current that can be carried continuously through the RCCB. Residual operating current of RCCB. This is very important for RCCB. It is on this basis that the RCCB operates. You can see this at the end of the video. Operating voltage. It is in volts and is the operating voltage for which the current rating is said. Breaking capacity. Breaking capacity can be defined as the maximum level of fault current which can be safely cleared. Internal parts of the RCCB. Input terminals Manual test switch Contact points Output terminals Core balanced current transformer We call it CBCT Control switch for CBCT A tripping mechanism and a manual operator knob. Now, let's see how it works. Normally, when the RCCB is switched on, the bulb lights up. In the event of a power leakage, the RCCB switches off immediately. See how the RCCB components work when it is switched on and off. The CBCT control switch activates when power leakage occurs. This is connected to the tripping mechanism of the RCCB. So, that the RCCB turns off immediately. So, the core balance current transformer is an important part of the RCCB. What is a core balance current transformer? How does it work? Let's see about that. When current flows in any conductor, a magnetic force is created around the conductor. We call it electromagnetism. What is the magnetic force? What is the electromagnetic force? We saw that in the previous video. I am providing the link to the video in the description. Those who haven't seen it can watch it. As the amount of current supplied to a conductor increases, the magnetic force also increases. Similarly, as the amount of current decreases, the amount of magnetic force also decreases. A core balance current transformer works by using an electromagnet. Look at the iron core in the picture. A current of 230 volt, 100 milliampers is supplied to the surrounding circuit in the form of a coil on one side. Thus, the iron core becomes a temporary magnet. Therefore, when a conductor is wound around another side of the iron core as shown in the figure, 
an electric current is generated in the conductor. Now the same amount of current is supplied to the other end of the iron core in the opposite direction. Thus, the iron core, which has become a temporary magnet, loses its magnetic force. Hence, the current is stopped in the coiled conductor. As the amount of current supplied in any direction increases, magnetic force develops in the iron core to the extent of the increasing current. Thus, current is also generated in the conductor wrapped around the iron core. In this mode, the core balance current transformer of the RCCB works. Look at the core balance current transformer shown in the figure. It is equipped with a 230 volt, 100 milliampere's bulb. When there is a leakage in the supplied current, for example, a leakage of 50 milliampere's. Hence, the amount of current supplied increases. But the return current is found to be 100 milliampere's. Thus, the control switch is activated by the magnetic force generated in the core balance current transformer, and the RCB is turned off immediately. Similarly, when leakage occurs in the return current, the amount of current returned is less than the amount of current supplied. Thus, the RCB is immediately turned off as mentioned earlier. When we buy an RCCB, we should keep in mind all the things mentioned on the nameplate. If we are buying for our home use, the residual current rate should not exceed 30 milliampere's. This is the best if we are buying for industrial use the residual current rate is 100 milliampere's. Apart from that, once a month we have to manually check the RCCBs in our application. If you find this video useful, then please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the free engineering knowledge channel. Thanks.